Hey guys, I'm really excited to bring you another unboxing. This is kind of an unusual wig for me. It is a purple wig. It's from Glamour Tress and they ship in USPS boxes. And the only problem with that is their wig box is a little bit bigger than this box. So it came a little um, crooked, but totally fine. It comes in this bag. And then in a little box and some net. I'm really excited about this one because it's a mix of purple and blue and green. It's awesome. Here is the tag. So once you get it out of the box, um, we'll take a look at the tag. It is a Layla lace front wig and the number is MLF157 for the item number. And then this is the color a little unusual and a long string of letters T T V V O R C now a lot of numbers start with the T T and the V's are maybe violet I'm not sure maybe this is orange it doesn't really make a lot of sense for this color um, but in any case it is a gorgeous gorgeous color I've already taken it out but I repackaged it for you comes in a very large hairnet to keep it from tangling. And then because it has that lace front, it also has a little bit of foam here. So you take out the little piece of cardboard and tissue paper, and then you want to carefully unclip um, the lace front. And they're just little plastic clips uh, to keep it from tearing when you're um, shipping or unpacking it. And then you have this. Um, I don't uh, keep all that packaging because you're just going to cut this lace off anyway. But I thought I would show you the parting. It is very long. It goes back quite far. And it is actually a pretty wide part. You wouldn't necessarily have to tweeze that or pluck hairs out a lot. But let's talk about the color. I just can't get over it. It is gorgeous. So it's got like maroon, purple tones, and then blue and green. So this is great for going out on the weekends or um, maybe to a St. Patrick's Day parade or Mardi Gras or something like that. Or, you know, if you wanna rock purple hair, then go to the grocery store with purple hair whatever you want and it is a very light yakky texture i'll try to zoom in so it's meant to mimic um, relaxed african-american hair so it's not silky straight but it is um it's not super super noticeable unless somebody stands very close to you and they really know hair textures and it's beautiful curls so let's go ahead and put this baby on and take it outside so you can see it in the sunlight. So here's the Bobby Boss wig, straight out of the box. I haven't brushed the curls, I haven't cut the lace, nothing. So I'll do a quick spin. And then I'll zoom in so you can see the lace front. It does go ear to ear. And it is that soft lace, so you will need to cut it and then glue it down. But very nicely done, very soft hair fiber, and it's got this nice, um, really long root, so it's black, and then it transitions into all of these gorgeous colors. So let me go trim the lace front and come back. All right, I have trimmed the lace off the front, but I haven't incorporated any of my own hair, so that you can see uh, just how much um, edges there there are peeking out. So it is a more inexpensive wig, but I have to say I'm really happy with the quality. I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks and I haven't experienced um, any shedding or tangling. So that's pretty good for a curly long wig. If you're interested in this color, I have a whole video just about the color because it's so beautiful. 
and the density is pretty thick. I'd say probably around 130% of what a normal person's hair would be. So it's not too full, but it's definitely not um, too thin either. Let's go ahead and look at the cap construction. It's pretty normal for a $40 Bobby Boss wig. It has the clips in the front and back that are like combs, it has ear to ear lace front, and a mono part. Other than that, it's got your standard wefted cap, and the hair fiber is a very nice quality, and the color is beautifully distributed. Rather than really chunky highlights, it's more like an even mixture of highlights and lowlights and kind of a biolage type long rooted style. So it's very popular, very on trend. I have not plucked the part, I have not added baby hairs or anything, and I haven't incorporated my own hair. So this is straight out of the box, how it could look for anybody for a really nice kind of fashion forward type of wig. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.